As shapes get more and more complex, it can be really useful for us to break up these complex shapes into a simpler shape, um, like a triangle. And in fact, triangles, we know a ton about them and uh, you can break almost any shape up into triangles and it can usually be pretty helpful. So one way we can do that is what I'm gonna call the vertex to vertex method. And you can see I'm just traveling from a vertex to a non-adjacent vertex and cutting it up into these triangles here. And so here we have a five-sided figure and it created one, two, three triangles. And I'll let you kind of think of what the pattern might be later on for that. It can be pretty useful. Now, this particular method is particularly good for calculating interior angle measurements. Another way that we can cut these things up is to actually start from the center. And one of the things that I'll mention with this is this works really well with um, regular polygons. It's not to say you can't find the center. Um, there's different types of a center to a non-regular polygon, but it works best for this. And we just kind of draw these radii. And yes, polygons do have radii or multiple radiuses. And this ends up being really useful if we want to calculate the area of these figures. Um, but what it kind of does is we have 360 degrees here and we just divide that in this case into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So I know that this angle here and all of these angles in fact are just 60 degrees. 360 divided by six. And so again, you can see how by cutting these more complex shapes into simpler ones, we can start applying um, all of this information that we've learned about triangles so far. The very last thing that I would suggest is that sometimes it's useful just to cut things up, not necessarily into triangles, but to create altitudes. And so an altitude is a height, which is always going to have this 90 degree angle there. Again, if you think about how you would measure the height of um, a person, you would measure it from the gr ground straight up or your tape measure would be have a 90 degree angle with the ground, right? And so this is an altitude here. And what that did in this particular case is it created two right triangles here and here, and then we have a rectangle in the middle. So you can see how we took this trapezoid and broke it up into much simpler shapes. These are probably the three most useful examples of how we can cut up um, more complex polygons into simple ones like triangles or rectangles. It's not to say they're the only ones. Um, so if you do end up with something cool um, that works for a particular type of problem, of course, go for it.